everyone. Hobby Box Break here. Do me a favor, hit that like and share button and leave us a tweet at Hobby Breaks. We're on Twitter, so hit us up at Hobby Breaks. If you haven't done so already, go ahead and hit that bell right there in the bottom right hand corner. When you do, I'll get you subscribed to our channel and let you know every time we do a cool Hobby Box Pack 10 Blaster Digital Wax Break or just an oddball Wednesday. Today, we've got the Upper Deck Valiant Air Hobby Box, and uh, they partnered with Pinnacle to do these. Uh, back in the 90s, so um, I remember this when I was a kid. Valiant comics were pretty cool. That's Exo Mana War there on the front. Um, this is a kind of a different um, uh, series. It's like sort of like um, similar to Marvel characters or DC characters. It's just uh, Valiant characters, though. So um, we are going to bust this open and see what we get inside of there. Um, there's eight cards per pack, 36 packs, 120 card set. Um, a plus special random insert cards featuring light FX technology. So maybe we get some of those cool cards. We'll see. Um, before I do that, leave me a comment below. When you do, I will get you entered into our drawings. We got three of them. That's right, three drawings. One for our weekly drawing. If you've been watching our Food Fight Breaks, get these Adam Appetites. We scratch off the codes and we give away the premium cards out of these digital wax packs that we're opening. So if you haven't set up your wax wallet, check out the tutorial at the end. We do a step-by-step, -step, real easy, real simple. Your kid could do it for you, and it's free of charge. When you do, let me know what your dot wham name is from your wax wallet in the comments below, and I'm going to hook you up with some free base cards just to get you started. You can also be entered into that drawing. Our second drawing will be for our monthly drawing, and our third drawing will be for this flawless briefcase. This thing is stuffed full of... Parallels, number cards, sapphires, graded cards, printing plates, one of one, sketch cards, and a whole boatload of autographs. Because with every break that we do, we throw in an autograph card. So today, we got some extra parallels going in there. We got some GPK Food Fight parallels, and we got some Chrome Series 3 refractors, and our Marvin Williams autograph card going in to the flawless briefcase there it is let's do this let's see what we get out of this valiant uh, hobby box cool remember i have a bunch of these comics and if you guys are valiant fans um they did come out with uh recently the uh what was it the bloodshot um bloodshot uh, uh movie with um vin diesel so it was it was it was okay it was decent i remember the comic um it was pretty cool uh these are the foil packs i may not need to use the but maybe we can make a set out of these oh got a hit already all right, I'm digging it. First pack, first hit. That's what I'm talking about. That's Exo Manowar. There's a Magnus Robot Fighter. There's the Hardcores. Recently picked up a Hardcores graded comic book. 9.8 graded. Pretty cool. And we got a Exo Manowar first appearance of what's his name again? Um, the Shadow Man, that's right. Shadow Man. So we got ourselves a Shadow Man parallel. That's FA1. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. All right. Awesome first pack. Yeah. What do you guys think? It's like a foil. Light FX card is what they call them. And there's a robot Magnus fighter. Magnus robot fighter. These comics are pretty cool. They did some... Um, they also did a uh, little trivia for you. That's Archer and Armstrong, one of my favorites. Ooh, Unseen Art. That's a parallel. That's a parallel. U6 parallel. That's Solar, Man of the Atom. 
Harbinger. <clears throat> Anyways, what's going on? I was saying, uh, Valiant did a crossover, much like uh, when you know I think they did a Marvel and DC crossover. They did it with another company of uh, characters. If you can let me know what that other company is, I'll give you an extra drawing entry. What am I talking about? Is that it? Is it Pyramid Comics? Hmm. I might just give you guys a free one there. Archer and Armstrong. There's Exo Manowar and Solar. Pretty cool. Exo Manowar is uh, pretty cool. It's uh, <laughs> basically this cool robot suit, sort of, but it's an alien life form. And um, it attached to this Viking, of all people. And he's just making his way through time and space. And maybe he's just hibernating or whatnot. It's pretty cool. Magnus Robot Fighter. Um, they did a crossover with... Uh, ooh, an unseen art card. They did a crossover with Dark Horse Comics. They did um, uh, uh, Aliens vs... Uh, Magnus uh, robot fighter that was pretty that was pretty intense I dug that one it's a good comic series I think I got the platinum version of that too shadow bad and there's bloodshot it's a bad exo man of war the exo man of war it seemed like it was like a symbiotic relationship type of deal, sort of like with Venom. I'm listening to me geek it out on comic stuff. That's Exo Man War and Turok. Turok, Dinosaur Hunter. Capitalizing on the uh, Jurassic Park series, maybe? 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 Unseen art card. I think we're getting a bunch of those. Exo Man War. Oh, yeah, these are easy to open. Pretty much fall. Up. And there's Ray. Solar. Solar had a relationship with who? There's a, there's a good trivia question. It was a pretty epic type of crossover kind of series. Can let me know. I'll give you an extra entry. Archer and Armstrong. This, I just, it, I love that whole series. It was great. If you haven't read the Archer and Armstrong, um, highly, highly suggest it. There was talks of a movie, possibly. Uh, that would be super epic sauce. Um, I would definitely see that over and over and over. Um, but uh, Archer and Armstrong is a pretty cool series. Not to be confused with uh, Archer, the um, you know the ISIS spies. <laughs> Not ISIS terrorist group, but they were called ISIS. But they, I think they changed their name again for their unseen art card. Uh-oh. Okay, don't get stuck. Devils? What? What's up with that? No bueno. Ooh, that's kind of cool. Some good artwork there. Down Air Comics. Who has some Dying Comics? Let me know. What Valiant Comics do you have? I am curious. Harbinger. It's basically a bunch of people that got superpowers. And that's like living armor. It comes on them basically like, you know, the Venom. I'm pretty sure it was loosely uh, copied from that Marvel comic. Um, that's just me. Uh, it seems like it's... Like a living AI. 
robot that attaches to him. Oh, we got another. We got a hit. We got a hit. Hit coming up. And that is a double. And we've got Solar Mandiatum. It's pretty cool. FA5. FA5, huh? Pretty cool card. Pretty cool indeed. And I predicted the foil packs. It's kind of cool. When they first came out, it's like foil packs, not wax packs. That's cool. At the same point in time, I think it sometimes makes the cards stick together. So, hopefully if they're in temperature controlled environments, we'd be okay. We got two light FX cards so far. Decent hits. Archer and Armstrong. Ooh, Exo Van War coming out of the ground. And Ray and Bloodshot have like the same type of um, uh, power. It's basically just uh, nano robots as their blood, essentially. Makes them heal super fast, gives them super fast speed, make crazy things. There's Bloodshot. Pretty cool, pretty cool. It's worth a watch. If you haven't seen the movie, I'd check it out. I'm a huge Vin Diesel fan. I like him. I like the stuff that he does. So, you might get a kick out of Bloodshot. It's worth a go. It's got sort of... Punisher storyline familiarity, I guess, maybe. Similarity, I guess, sort of. Notice this card, it's like different. I don't know, the artist just did a great job on that card. It's just that the whole artistry of that whole series is off from like this. I dig it. It's cool. Eternal Warrior. Like a samurai dude or something. It's like an immortal, I think it was. Magnus Robot Fighter. He... He reminded me sort of of like, he was similar to like the Superman character, his values, the way that he fought, so forth and so on. So all of these are guys are pretty much, you could tell it was like, mm, it's kind of like the Marvel comic or something. This is a different time scape, XO and War. A barbarian back in time. It's a different kind of art scheme, too, as well. Exo Man of War. He had this dude in one of the comics, which was pretty cool. Who was like a he was like, I don't know, like an agent. Like a like when I say agent, like I don't mean like secret agent, I mean like a movie agent dude, right? Anyways, he betrays him, and Exo Manowar doesn't kill him, but uh, he lets some of his body, like, he, so, like, that gold, like, stuff that surrounds his body, his buddy, anyway, he was his buddy, but he betrayed him, and then he let, he got his hand cut off, right? So he goes, you betrayed me, but I'm still gonna let you live, and he, and he, 
let some of his uh, suit attach to him to replace his hand that got cut off. And uh, it was like, I'll know if you ever try to betray me. <laughs> and the, and the, his hand, his artificial hand made of his suit, basically like squeeze and like kind of hurt him a little bit. He's like, oh crap. <laughs> Uh oh, doubles, doubles, what? Doubles, okay. Doubles, going into the flawless case. When I have side by side doubles, I got, I got, I gotta, gotta spread the wealth there. Finally, a checklist. Heck yeah. Checklist, baby. Yeah, one hundred nineteen. All right. Hopefully, get to make a set out of these. Try. Anyways, the Magnet Robot, Magnus Robot Fighter, Aliens, Dark Horse crossover. Um, I'll just put a hint out there. Anyway, that's a good series. If you haven't, if, you, if you're into comics, go for it. Maybe comics aren't your thing. Maybe just sports your thing, or maybe just Garbage Pail Kids your thing. Heck, they've got Garbage Pail Kids comic books. Just so you know. If you haven't seen those, I'd be curious what they're like. That's the cover from the Zero issue of Ray, which I have graded. Which is Unity. Avenger. Solar! Yeah, it was the black cover. That's why it's, it's not a mess up card, I promise. I remember that comic book. Shadow Man. These came out shortly when the uh, Marvel superheroes cards came out, which was, uh, those were just so cool. It was like cards for cool kids. <laughs> Trent Armstrong. He's like, oh, a rat. Armstrong is like just a funny, he's a funny dude. Oh, yeah, it is. Sweet. Sweet. That is a big thing of snake of dragon slash whatever. Don't know. That is one of the comic book co covers right there. Oh, man, I can't. That, that lady's got a freaking hatchet. Meat cleaver. And swings at Shadow Man there. That's a comic book cover. Unseen art. There's Tra Dinosaur Hunter. The Eternal Warrior. Oh, that's a new card. We haven't seen that one. Solar. Archer Armstrong back in time. Magnus and Turok taming up. I actually got a... I was at a Comic Con when I was a kid. And they had this trivia if you could stump the author. And I was able to stump the author. And I got myself a gold issue of Turok. Dinosaur Hunter, Gold Edition, number one. It's pretty cool. I still have that comment. I think it was like, I don't know, 13, 14, something like that. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Hardcores. 
similar to if anybody read the comic Wetworks, I guess, maybe. Similar to them. If you guys were into comics, back when they released the wizard grading guide. It was like a wizard magazine. It was like a comic book magazine. To get a cool wizard uh, Wetworks card. It was like a foil card. Came, in, came with the magazine. Blackguard. Blackguard? Blackguard. Blackguard? We get a bunch of these. Flawless case. Flawless case. What? We got, we got two of these already. Ray fighting the wizard, also in the flawless case. There you guys go. What the heck is this? Who is that? Eternal Warrior. That's right. Because he's eternal. Because he's immortal. Looks like he was a musketeer at some point in time. So it was the five musketeers, huh? Because D'Artagnan was the fourth musketeer. They didn't call him the three musketeers, really. Archer and Armstrong. Whoops. Sorry about that. Exo Metawar. That's Archer and Armstrong with the Eternal Warrior. Ah, I didn't see that crossover. I think that was, I may have read about him. I can't remember. Another black solar card. It's like Exo Man of War fighting the equivalent of like, um, what's his name? So Venom fighting uh, Carnage. Basically, and he's red too, so ha 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 ha. Unseen art card. Nifty. Nifty, nifty. And scuba diving. Hardcores are going scuba. Do you scuba? I scuba. I love scuba. Who, who are my dive fanatics? Who dives? I dive. I love diving. If you live in Florida, you gotta pick up diving. You just got to. It's so much fun. It's a whole new world. And that's kind of cool. Orb Industries, that's right. He's got like lasers and like this little shield flies off and like he's got like a little robot on his shoulder that, that'll fly around like his, like his probe. It's kind of cool. Oh, oh, doubles, 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 back, back, doubles. Going in the flawless case. All right, we're coming down to the nitty gritty here. Am I gonna get any more light FX cards or what? Archer and Armstrong on vacation with a dinosaur in the background. That's, that's, that's right there. Photo bomb. Those freaking Velociraptors always photo bombing stuff. Oh yeah, we got one. That's a Bloodshot guy. That's Bloodshot right there. AKA Vin the Diesel. Yeah. Nice hit. Make an appearance in the Ray comic books. That's on the bottom there. Checklist. And this crazy lady. Whew, I remember him, Magnus, fighting her, it, whatever. Mm, yeah, he's fighting a bunch of bad robots. That's what he does. He fights like rogue bad robots on his planet. Hence the name Magnus the Robot Fighter. Oh, we haven't seen this one, I don't think. Eternal Warrior. It's a villain. I haven't seen this one either. Everyone's in their um, spandex today. Spandex Tuesday. And we got a cool ray card. Solar. And 
we got our three main hits. We got some unseen art cards, but here are our three hits. What do you guys think? Um, uh, Valiant Error cards, a light FX. Pretty cool. Um, but thanks for watching, and uh, more Hobby Box breaks coming up, guys.